Now, as if you didn't already know, today is National Muffin Day, and here to mark the greatest day in the calendar is Chrissy Gibson. And apparently we're going away from the traditional sweet variety and opting for a breakfast one instead. Good morning, Chrissy. Yeah, this isn't a savoury muffin, but it isn't too sweet either. Uh, typically, this would be made as uh, courgette bread. Today, we're making courgette muffins, and they are great for breakfast. Really? They are. They're lovely. This would be, I, I grew up on this stuff, so it, it, to me, it's not anything new. But we're going to start with three eggs and 200 grams of castor sugar. You can also use granulated sugar. And we're going to give this a quick whiz. Um, you want it to be... You, this, at this stage, you want it to get a little bit fluffy, okay? Uh, once we add the flour, we're not going to overmix it. So at this stage, we can give it a really good whiz. So we're also adding 200 grams oop, of light muscovado sugar. That's the soft stuff. Okay, we're not, stuff. we're not using demerara. We're not using dark muscovado, but you do want to use light muscovado sugar. You can get this at either Tesco or Dunn's. And uh, we're going to give that a mix. And we're adding... 215 mils of vegetable oil. Uh, you could also use olive oil, whatever oil you like, but I prefer using rapeseed oil in my muffins. So we're adding 10 mils of pure vanilla extract. That's about two teaspoons, okay? Now, once we've got our wet ingredients mixed together, nice and fluffy and blended, we're going to add 300 grams of grated courgette, okay? okay. Now, that's gonna be about <clears throat> one large courgette, maybe plus a little bit. And when you grate it, do you need to take the moisture out of it? No, that's oh. a great question, actually. Um, if you find that your moisture is pooling at the bottom of the bowl, just dump it all in. Don't squeeze it. All right. Don't squeeze it out. Just leave it. Okay. Also, leave the skins on. Yeah. Loads of fiber and nutrition in the skins, and it'll actually, uh, it'll, it'll look nicer in your muffin. So okay. uh, grate about 300 grams of that. It'll end up being about maybe one and a quarter courgette. You can go ahead and just use your electric hand mixer on this. And um, we're gonna add our, our dry ingredients next. Now, we have 450 grams of self-raising flour, okay? We're adding a teaspoon each of salt, baking powder, and bread soda, all right? And then we're also gonna add cinnamon. I know it's not your favorite thing, but mm. we're adding a little extra cinnamon. We're adding actually two teaspoons, which is more like seven to 10 grams of okay. cinnamon. It's not overwhelmingly <clears throat> cinnamony, so you don't have to worry. Um, I did leave the cinnamon off the top. Yes, of I did muffins. notice that, yeah, yeah, My yeah. Lord. Thank you very much, my liege. So, here we have our dry ingredients. We're just gonna give them a quick mix, okay, so they're a little bit blended. That way we won't get a mouthful of salt or bread okay. soda. All right, now once we have these blended, We'll maybe do this in two steps so we don't make too much of a mess. Now, I did mention a minute ago, we don't want to overmix at this stage, all right? So just mix it until it's blended. And, uh, and then get the rest in. Yeah. The, the, reason, the reason for not over blending is you, you don't want to overactivate the gluten in your flour. You know, you can actually, you can find that your, your breads and your muffins won't rise correctly. If, uh, if you've overmixed. Also, they could end up kind of rubbery. Has that ever happened to you before? Absolutely. So th this recipe will make, would it make, you know, a dozen muffins or one loaf? Uh, it'll make two loaves or two dozen muffins. Wow. Okay. Okay? okay. Now, that's it. That's our batter done. That's so it. you can pour this into, uh, two dozen muffin tins and, I'm sorry, two dozen, two dozen, two, <laughs> two, two dozen muffin, muffin tins. cases. <laughs> two muffin tins. And you want to mm. fill each one about two thirds of the way full, okay? okay. Uh, just, you can use a spoon for this part. Do you know what else is really good in this? Yes. Walnuts. Walnuts. So if, and this is totally optional. Okay. Today I gave you muffins without the walnuts. Okay. Okay. I didn't want any fuss. Yeah, no, you know, there's a lot of fuss in here. Yeah. People are very fun. picky and choosy and they won't eat certain Peep stuff with us. You know. People? People are, yeah, yeah. Oh, are people? I mean, I'll eat anything, really. You mm -hmm. know me, Chrissy. I love my cinnamon. Do you hear him? I love, I love my tofu oh. and so, that kind of stuff. 
Look, I'm going to make a few of these with, with nuts. Okay. So the nuts are optional. If you do add nuts, use about 120 grams. That's a cup, or to be even less scientific about the amount, it's maybe two or three handfuls, okay? But you want to grind them up. You don't have to grind your nuts up as finely as I did. You could just chop them into big chunks if you'd like. So give that a taste. I've given you a warm one, which is great with butter, and there's one that isn't warm. I baked that one a couple of hours ago. Either way, they're delicious, and they make a great breakfast. I hope Elaine comes in here and joins us. And has she will one. be on the way. She's over there having the chats with Janine. They're up their eyes, the two of them. Look at them. They don't even, they don't even know I'm talking about them. Look. <laughs> uh, so this is the hot one with a bit of butter. What's he giving out about now? Oh, oh, it's always something. Out about? I heard my name called. Oh, God, well, I wanted you to taste this because I know you've never had courgette muffins. See, when you say courgette muffins, I don't uh, get what you're talking about. You say zucchini. Now I get it. Zucchini, zucchini bread, because it's always on American television shows. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. So now I get it. Nobody, he was just telling me that zucchini's the wrong name for it. it and what am I doing for. calling it zucchini? Courgettes, are, it's like, um, what are they? It's like that faucet is... and diaper. American language is different sometimes. It is. So, we, we bake so you need these... the butter on this, is it? Go for the one on the left. That's the hot one on We bake these for about 20 to 25 minutes. In my oven, 22 minutes is the magic spot. And what temperature are you baking that 160. at? 160. Mm. It's unfortunate I, I missed how to bake them because, of course, I would be baking away myself this evening, wouldn't I? You would, I'm yeah. so brilliant at it. Yeah, try working in a bakery. It's very dangerous. <laughs> uh, what do you think of that, Simon? You said it's not very sweet, but it is lovely and sweet. It's good for breakfast. It's not a savoury muffin. I think that's gorgeous. It's a bit carrot cakey, isn't it? Well, sweet. we're baking with veg. Mm. And any time you bake with fruit or veg, you end up with a really moist cake. Mm. Moist bread, moist muff. Oh, are you, do you have a problem with that moist. word? You just like the word moist. OK, sorry about that. And I think I just used it three times in succession. <laughs> you did. Which word, moist? <laughs> you did, yeah. What do you think? What do you think? It's gorgeous, isn't it? I, I, I've got something I to can't swallow to today. The bite I had wasn't particularly moist, actually. <laughs> Is I think right? they're gorgeous. <laughs> I'm just over the second one for Do you like it? Yeah, mm. Pete the cameraman wants Now, to Elaine, I'm curious about what you think of it. It's delicious and it'd be lovely with a cup of tea or coffee. Really lovely. Yes. Yeah, and it's, I do like it. Tea or coffee. And, and they're healthier easy, than your easy. blueberry ones. They're what? Are you? Would they be healthier than blueberry muffins or with the same sort of sugar? Uh, I, less sugar, for sure, I think. Um, as I, uh, says I, I'm wondering about calories so as I stick a lump of butter on it. But you, you also get the, the health benefits of, of the veg. If, you you've, do, got a, that, if you've got a fussy child, exactly. uh, or you know, a fussy adult. It's a, great, it's a great way to get the courgettes Chrissy, into them. thank you. Great My recipe pleasure. as always. Full mm. recipe details are available on our website or visit takethecake.ie to find all of Chrissy's delicious recipes. <laughs>